everyone knows what batteries are. But what if I told you Elon Musk is working on a monstrous battery that could last up to 28,000 years? Imagine converting waste into energy. Now think about nuclear waste. What if this nuclear waste could power a battery that never needed recharging? Introducing the Nuclear Diamond Battery, NDB, a revolutionary technology that's catching the eyes of tech enthusiasts and industry giants. Would it surprise you if Elon Musk, the world's richest man and a tech visionary, was interested in these batteries? Musk, after all, has shown a keen interest in innovative energy solutions. Could he be planning to integrate NDBs into his products? Stay tuned until the end of this video to find out. Picture this, never having to charge your phone or laptop again. Now, think bigger. What about a spacecraft? These batteries have the potential to revolutionize technology on Earth and in space, from future cars to life-saving medical devices. But like any innovation, the NDB isn't without its challenges. If implanted in devices, it would be difficult to remove and expensive to produce. Most importantly, disposing of its radioactive byproducts could be hazardous. The journey of the radioactive diamond battery began in 2016 with scientists at the University of Bristol. They developed a beta-voltaic device powered by the beta decay of nuclear waste. This process involves the emission of beta particles from an atom's nucleus, generating beta radiation that continuously recharges the battery. Unlike conventional batteries, an NDB could last thousands of years, not just a few hundred. That's astonishing. So what do you think? Are you enjoying our video? If so, please hit the subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps us grow the channel and bring you the best tech content. Nobody understands energy conservation better than Tesla and Musk, which is why we're focusing on them. Musk's car company leads the shift to electric vehicles, but there's a need for a better alternative to the lithium-ion batteries currently in use. Let's get practical. How does the lifespan of an NDB compare to the batteries in our daily devices? For a car, an NDB could last up to 90 years, far outlasting the vehicle itself. One battery could power multiple cars over its lifetime. For consumer electronics like tablets or smartphones, an NDB could last around nine years, offering unprecedented longevity. This incredible battery could redefine our relationship with energy and technology. Stay with us to explore more about how NDBs might power our future and transform the way we live and travel. Now it's time for some additional information because it's my duty to give you the most explained information. A battery is, at its most basic level, a piece of machinery that functions by transforming the chemical energy it stores into electrical energy. The transfer of electrons from one material, the electrode, to another, which occurs in an external circuit, is necessary for the chemical reactions that occur in a battery. Electron movement generates an electrical current that can be used to carry out work. On the other hand, the diamond battery is a beta voltaic, which is similar to a photovoltaic solar cell. It transforms beta radiation into electricity, as opposed to turning light into electricity. A typical beta voltaic cell is made up of layers of semiconductors, sandwiching thin layers of radioactive material. When nuclear materials disintegrate, beta particles are released. These particles subsequently collide with semiconductor electrons to create an electrical current. The power density of the radioactive source decreases with increasing distance from the semiconductor it is being tested against. Additionally, Beta particles are randomly released in all directions. A tiny fraction of them will reach the semiconductor, and a tiny fraction of them will be transformed into electricity. This is due to the fact that beta particles do not go straight. Nuclear battery efficiency is hence much lower than that of other battery types. For this, PCD, also known as polycrystalline diamond, is employed. One of the hardest substances that human civilization has ever found is diamond. In actuality, it is even more durable than silicon carbide. In addition, it has the ability to serve as both a semiconductor and a radioactive source. Therefore, you may develop a battery that has a long lifespan and does not require recharging if beta radiation is applied to it. It can sustain its own charge indefinitely thanks to the radioactive waste that is housed inside it. 
The process utilized to create an artificial diamond for the batteries is known as chemical vapor deposition, which uses C14 methane and hydrogen plasma to create diamond sheets at high temperatures. Because it is composed of incredibly thin layers of large crystalline grains, the diamond used in the battery is far smaller than the diamond seen on rings. The other goal of this multi-layer construction is to prevent radiation from escaping and lessen the risk to people's health when utilized as near or even within the body. They don't endanger people. The cost barrier created by the method is first noticed by NDB. Unique diamonds need an expensive and energy-intensive manufacturing process. Diamonds are commonly employed in the fabrication of electrical components because of their high heat conductivity. They are the most well-known naturally occurring heat conductors and are three to four times as efficient as copper or silver. According to a report published by the College of Engineering at the University of Houston, blue diamonds may be discovered naturally, but they are harder to come by and cost far more to buy than their synthetic counterparts. After being obtained, the nanodiamonds are combined with radioactive isotopes made from nuclear waste. They are produced using radioactive isotopes of uranium and plutonium. In particular, their tiny square millimeter single crystal diamonds are employed to rapidly transfer heat away from their radioactively decaying isotopes in such a way that the exchange actually generates power. Diamonds with a conductivity level that is much greater than that of a regular diamond are the final product of the entire process. While the most recent mentions of a nuclear diamond battery come in the wake of NDB and the University of Bristol, in conjunction with ARC and light research into the possibility of batteries as more affordable lithium-ion batteries became available on the market. The first-generation nuclear batteries went out of style. However, the development and testing of beta-voltaic cells progressed throughout the succeeding few decades. Regarding lithium-ion batteries, Musk has stated several times that the issue is with its processing later on. Even though he has the resources required to produce all the lithium-ion batteries he would ever need, it is difficult to process lithium-ion batteries that are made of lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide. Nearly half of the raw lithium that is mined is processed into battery material in China. In actuality, China produces almost 80% of the world's lithium-ion batteries. If China won't give up its control of the lithium-ion market, perhaps a different path to NDB might be preferable. Tesla's new Gigafactory has enough room to further this endeavor, and the company has brokered a new deal with an Australian company to source materials for its batteries directly. While numerous companies are showing interest in participating in the race to develop a nuclear diamond battery, it appears this use case is quite restricted at the moment. The primary reason for this is that it has a significant disadvantage. Elon Musk would be unstoppable if he had even a little amount of faith in NDB batteries. Tesla would be miles ahead of any other energy firm in the world, as long as the worries around this nuclear battery are addressed and resolved while avoiding consequences. Although all of this sounds great in principle, putting it into practice is more difficult than it seems. Everything needs to be handled extremely carefully when discussing nuclear energy. This idea has the potential to fundamentally alter how we think about energy and sustainability. Perhaps it's past time to use smart energy with global warming growing every year for both future generations and ourselves. Elon Musk currently possesses the means and obligation to carry the flame. What do you think, guys? Do you believe an NDB battery can run a whole car?